The topic for today's class was solubility and polarity. So the main aim is to clarify what these terms mean and to allow students to connect those chemistry terms with their daily life. Okay. They're normally quiet, but they're paying attention and I'm calling on them individually and I get them to kind of walk us all through the, the concepts that we're exploring so that we can all move at, the, at a good pace, not too fast and not too slow. Substances and elements and compounds. Salty water would be, would be which of those boxes, do you remember? Homogeneous mixture. Yeah, very good, homogeneous mixture, okay. A key part of my teaching for this course is to kind of have conversation to build their understanding and also to show them. I think the, the difference for this class with 20, well, 19 students is not so big. I think it's less engaging because people are not there, right? But still, I think if I can show them a different camera view or a close up view or annotate things with pen, then this is something I cannot do in a normal classroom. Maybe some are sat at the back, they can't so easily see what I'm asking. And the way that I interact with the students, having their, all their faces right in front of me is very similar, seems very similar to me. I think it's important for me to use this chance online teaching opportunity to, to push the limits in a way to see what works and what doesn't work. Because the first time round, I think it's okay to to try things that may not work so that we can learn for the future. That's an important project.